everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Devinia and I'm a final year mechanical engineering student in France. If you're considering studying in Le Havre or if you're just curious about the city in general, then keep watching because this video is for you. So it's been six years since I moved to France to study engineering and I'm currently a final year student at the University of Technology of Compiègne. But before engineering school, I spent two years of my life in Le Havre to do my technical degree or what's called a Diplôme Universitaire de Technologie in French in a technological institute in the University of Le Havre, Normandie. But ever since then, there's been some reforms and so now the two-year technical degree program has become a three-year program. In my six years in France, I spent the most of my time consecutively in Le Havre because ever since I left, I've moved like five times about in the last three years for different reasons like internships, engineering school and whatnot. And so, I spent two whole years of my life in the same city, same apartment, same university and so it was kind of like the most stable years of my life in France. And so because of that, I wanted to make this video to talk about the city, share my experiences while I was a student there and also answer some of your general questions about Le Havre. Let's go! It's time for a history lesson. So Le Havre is located in the northern part of France on the English Channel. Today it is France's second most important port after Marseille. It's also a very historical city so it's listed on the UNESCO's World Heritage list for its post-war urban planning and architecture. See, Le Havre was bombed many, many times during World War II and so it was also rebuilt many times. And when it was last rebuilt, the architect Auguste Perret was in charge of getting the city back on its feet as soon as possible and so he did this by using concrete to reconstruct the city which explains the prominence of brutalism architecture all through the city. You also have a few universities like the one I went to, you also have Sciences Po Le Havre and a few other campuses. And so Le Havre is situated in this region in France called Normandie and it is one hour away by train from the capital of the region called Rouen and it is about like two and a half hours away from Paris. Which brings me to my next point, why did I choose to study in Le Havre? So as I mentioned earlier, one of the reasons that I chose to study in Le Havre is because of its proximity to Paris. I wanted to stay close to the capital because that's where the nearest biggest international airport was and I know that might sound weird but where I come from in Malaysia which is this amazing little island called Penang little shout out to my island if you're planning a trip to Malaysia you should definitely make the trip to Penang it's only a one hour plane ride from the capital Kuala Lumpur and you have so much of good food and the beaches are so pretty I love my island. Anyway, back to my airport justification. So in Penang, I lived like 15 minutes away from an airport and it wasn't just like a small domestic airport, it was like a big international airport. And I don't know, there's something about just knowing that the airport is there, it's not too far away. It's very reassuring. Let me know if I'm the only one that feels this way. The second reason that I chose Le Havre is because I wanted to be the only Malaysian student in the mechanical engineering department. And the reason that I say this is because I really wanted to improve my French. And the best way to do so is to mix with the French. And so I knew that if there was another Malaysian in my class, I want to partner up with him or her for projects and we would automatically spend a lot of time around each other. And let's not kid ourselves, at that point we would not be speaking French to one another. So I knew that I had to step out of my comfort zone and being the only Malaysian meant that I had to make the effort to mix with the French and so I would have to converse in French whether I liked it or not. And to be honest, putting myself in that immersive environment was indeed the best choice that I made to improve my French. The third reason why I chose Le Havre was because of its living costs. Um, it's pretty reasonable compared to other cities in France, which brings me to my next point. The living costs in Le Havre. So when you're a student, your main expenses are normally rent, food and transportation. 
these are the most important expenses that you can't really avoid. Food varies from person to person, but rent and transportation are pretty much fixed depending on the city. So if you can lower those two expenses, you can pretty much lower your overall expenses for the month. I don't know about you guys, but for me, rent usually takes up like the huge, the, the biggest portion of my monthly expenses. So as a uni student, it's smart to opt for student residences because you normally get like a good functional studio for a good price. So it's a pretty good bargain. And so when I was in Le Havre, I stayed in a student resident under Cruz and I paid like around 360 euros per month, electricity, hot water and internet included. I actually made a TikTok on the day I left the apartment, so if you guys are interested, feel free to check that out. So 360 per month was the original price, but in reality, I was paying around like 230 because of the cuff. So for those of you who don't know, when you're in France, you get like a sort of subsidy on your rent from the CAF, which is a government public service association. For the transportation, I had to take the tram to school every day because it was the most practical option to get there. And so I paid around like 25 euros per month. And now the food. If there's one thing that I miss about Le Havre, it's its markets. So you have the market every Saturday morning with a lot of fruits, vegetables and meat and the prices for those items are a lot lower compared to like the supermarkets. And so I'm really thankful for that because I got to spend around like 150 on average per month on food which is which is really which is the lowest that I've ever spent in my entire like time in France. And so during those two years in France when I was in Le Havre, my monthly expenses were on average slightly less than 500 euros. The last thing that I'm going to be talking about is the student life in Le Havre. To be honest, I personally spent most of my time studying a lot during those two years, so I wasn't like partying or going out as much, but I did go to a few nice bars and a few nightclubs, but my core memory of Le Havre was the beach. As I come from an island in Malaysia, I wanted to be near the sea. And although the beach in Le Havre isn't quite the same as the ones in Penang, I still appreciated being able to have the beach nearby. So I loved running by the beach and I also liked to go there on Sunday mornings to just sit by the waters and enjoy that moment of solitude when the sun was out. I also did Taekwondo for a year in the dojo at Le Havre and I remember that everyone was super nice and friendly and it was also an excellent method to de-stress from all that studying. So besides the beach and the dojo, you've also got cute little cafes, your shopping's not too bad either, you've got pretty good options and the student library is pretty lit. Like I spent most of my time studying there so definitely recommend. So all in all, I think student life was pretty alright. So in conclusion, I think that Le Havre is a good bargain because of its reasonable, relatively reasonable living costs. Although the weather can be pretty harsh, especially for someone who comes from a tropical climate where I'm used to seeing the sun like all throughout the year, the weather in Le Havre, it can be very gloomy, rainy and very windy all throughout autumn, winter and sometimes even through spring. But when the skies were clear, I saw the most prettiest sunrise and sunsets in my life and that was pretty amazing and when the sun was out I had many nice moments at the beach and in the city as well. Student life I would say is okay. I got pretty bored quite quickly to be honest because I grew up in a city that was highly populated with a lot of things to do and so that was the pace that I was used to and Le Havre in contrast is like a lot calmer and a lot simpler. So I think it depends on the kind of pace that you're going for and the kind of pace that you're used to as well. So that is all for this video. I hope I managed to give you guys a little insight on what it's like to study in Le Havre. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to reply to them. And if you've made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a like and do subscribe to my YouTube channel as that would help me quite a lot. Thank you so much for being here and see you in my next video. Ciao!